What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today I wanted to talk about Apple, the big company who you might have heard about in the news. They made a video recently, or more like an ad, where they made a lot of people upset. Now, I'm not saying that Apple is a bad company. Other people do that for me. But the whole idea is that in the video, there is this giant crushing machine and all these beautiful artistic tools and a giant hydraulic press crushes all of it. And then after it, it's like, ooh, pretty new slim iPad, wow. And I understand both sides of the argument where Apple was just like, oh, hey, look at all these cool things. Let's compress it. All this, all this old human carbon kind of stuff and let's compress it with heat and pressure and do a beautiful slim iPad. All these tools are now in this little device. And that's cool. I like that idea. However, a lot of people are saying, wow, Apple's saying, F you to creativity, F you to traditional mediums, buy an iPad because human creativity is dead. And I think that's not what they meant. Because as a person who is in a hugely creative community, I understand iPads. I understand their importance and how there is human and furry creativity used by people who have iPads. Sure, there's still traditional mediums, and I'll get to that in a minute, but the creativity in the fandom has a ton of people using iPads. I know several people just off the top of my head who use iPads as their professional source for making art. It's honestly one of the best things you can get for its versatility, as you can use it to check email, and it's powerful. Procreate is only on iPad, and it is a great app for creative uh, art. And then of course, there's all sorts of other programs like Logic for Music, or even Andrew Huang's Flip Sampler. Now that's on iOS as well, but like, yeah, it's a powerful tool and I can see why people use it, but I can see why people are upset as well. Having your, you know, let's say you're someone who is tr a classically trained pianist. There was a huge piano inside that, inside that advertisement and it was crushed and it was destroyed. And it's like, well, heck Apple, I don't think you respect traditional mediums. And I think that that is actually, I think that that is part of why the ad itself isn't really good. Because I personally, and I think a lot of people, still see a ton of value within traditional mediums. From being able to play on a real piano with real vibrating strings, to being able to paint with acrylics or watercolors from, from the vinyl. There was a record player on there, and I love vinyl. It's a, it's a fascinating medium. And I want to bring a shout back to one of my older videos where I brought up the, uh, the debate of like analog versus digital. And the analog can mean a lot of things from, you know, the circuits to kind of traditional mediums as well. Because when you use analog or traditional mediums, you find, like I said in the video, happy little accidents where there is this kind of randomness that happens from the natural ebb and flow of whatever uh, medium you're using. So a piano will be like detuned in some ways over time. The uh, paint will run in unique ways or a brush can be used to create these dynamic looks where you can like, you know, a certain brush can be used to paint a tree very natural-like. And that 
I think, is something that is exceedingly difficult to replicate in digital mediums. And that is a huge part of why traditional and analog mediums are still so prevalent today. If digital stuff could just replace all that, then, you know, of course, all that old technology doesn't need to be exist. Throw it in the crusher, who cares? But people do care because there is an element of reality that is left within these traditional mediums. There's an element of, of the, like, it, it's hard to define, but like there's like a soul within the paint or within the, within the materials themselves that like each piece is unique. Once you make something in a digital form, it can be copied. Like it's just duplicatable perfectly. And that's one of the things that you just don't get with traditional medium is each piece is one of a kind. You could recreate the same piece a hundred times, but each piece is going to have slight variations within each other to make it all unique together. And I think that's why people are so upset with the Apple ad. And I think that that's why traditional medium is still so valuable is because it felt like crushing. It felt literally soul crushing. And so I just wanted to talk about that because it's relevant and views, but also because, hey, I've made this topic before. Traditional mediums and analog systems are important to the, the, the creativity of creative spaces. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hey guys, I forgot to record an end card. I just wanted to say, follow me on my Patreon. Um, I got a couple things changed up, so it's cheaper and I'm gonna flesh out some like, here's what you get for that. Um, I don't know anything yet, leave some ideas, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that real quick because it's the end card and I didn't record that.